This is Blythe Hill in South London on a very hot Wednesday morning. It's a beautiful view, but it's actually time for, hang on, hang on Kelly, I need to just straighten this out. Go for it. Okay. Yep. It's time for the five, three, one with the actress, Dame Kelly Shirley. Yes. What a fantastic guest. Thank you for coming on this show. Lovely to see you. Um, I now. Just touched you really weirdly then. You sorry. Did. That's nice. Weird COVID y yeah, touch. Yeah, that's all right. I think touching the wrist is okay. Not that I have COVID, sorry. Yeah, no, nor do I, as far as I know. Um, now, Kelly. Yes. Uh, what I thought I'd do just to introduce you to any strange people who, who mum who's watching yeah you know who <laughs> haven't seen you in, in things which they should have done um I, I went on imdb right and i tried to copy and paste your entire imdb but it was, it was too long it was, well, it was yeah, too right. long and also the formatting <laughs> didn't work it's sort of, when it when i tried to copy it didn't it all went a bit weird so I, some paper well I, I i just typed it out in the end, I've got two windows up. It doesn't matter. Right, so I'm, uh, this is right. I'm just going to read out things that you've been oh in. Oh, God. Okay? Yeah. Uh, Biff and Chip, that's coming up. Biff and Chip, a new kids' show. Yeah, yeah. In, se- in September. Yeah, almost everyone out there will have been learned to read by Biff and Chip. Yeah. Uh, Baby Boy, Death in Paradise, Dumping Ground, In yeah. the Long Run with Idris Elba, fantastic. Uh, Murder in the Car Park, Doctors, Fame Disease, okay. Chronos. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. I just got to call the midwife. It's the Fab 3 1 Interviews. It's the Fab 3 1 Interviews. It's the Fab 3 1 Interviews. It's the Fab 3 1 now. I'd like my first question to be about uh, In the Long Run, which oh, is good. a series that you've been in with Idris Elba and uh, Bill Bailey and many others. Mm-hmm. Very good series. Three series already on Sky. Yeah, and a Christmas special. And a Christmas special. I've been enjoying that over the last week or so. Excellent. Um, Getting your 80s fix. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. It's a fantastic soundtrack. I know. It's so good. And Pepsi I love, and Shirley. And I love the singing boy. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Oh, there's two singing boys, aren't there? Changes, yeah. isn't it? But, um, yeah, so that's great. Now, but my question is, Go on. and I think everyone wants to know this, from my wife to most of the population of the world to... Um, I don't know if you watch Grey's Anatomy, but um, Bailey in Grey's Anatomy, absolutely obsessed. What is Idris Elba like? And is it true that after the first series he bought you all shell suits? He did? Did he? How did you know that? Oh, I did a bit of research. Are you friends with him? Yeah, no, I don't think Was so. Was he like, damn, what should I get the cars? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shell suits. Shell suits. That's my idea. <laughs> yeah. um, um, he is obviously a legend. Whoever yeah. buys you a shell, shell suit is is um, clearly a yeah. great person. Yeah. Um, I mean, he was he was he was our boss, and he it was he, it's his story. He's the um, like creator of it. He's just funny. He's a funny guy, and he's really nice, and he's dashing, and he's fucking cool. Yeah, I What's, mean, you know, I don't think there's anyone that doesn't love him. I don't think there is. I mean, I it's just think like. So. That's really nice to hear that because that's how I felt he probably would be. Oh, he's a just dude. Just from seeing him and stuff. And, yeah. Oh. So uh, this is your first compliment. Um, uh, now you have run, I believe, the marathon, the London Marathon, mm. three times. That's amazing. Three Not really. Think of all the people three that have done times. it. I mean, for a non-runner, that's pretty good. I think it's, I think it's amazing. I think you're amazing for running, and also you've made l- raised loads of money all that time. So I think that's brilliant. I I cannot be asked to Why run do a it? marathon. Do it next year. No, it's not going to happen this year, is it? No, definitely not. Um, but where, this isn't one of the official five questions. But uh, so where did you come in the marathon? What was your highest position? Because <laughs> I came. I remember I came 38th once in the school cross country in wow. my, my year out of about 200. That's pretty good. I was really pleased with that. So where, where did You're you come? You're kind of built like a runner, aren't I'm you? I'm built like a runner, I'm just not very good at Race it. Very felt. Yeah, thanks. I don't know where I came. Yeah, no, I didn't come no. last. Somewhere in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Average. Yeah. Nothing average. It. Nothing average about finishing a marathon. Finished it though. Well done. Thank there you, you go. That was alright, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was good. Yeah. Let's say you have got your pick of any role in the Cheese, history, bacon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Sorry>. sausage, yeah. <laughs> uh, any role in the history of art, so film, TV, audio, you know, anything. Is there a role that you think, oh god, I want that? I would love to play that role. I would smash it. 
yes. <laughs> um, I would say my dream role has always been to play Eliza Doolittle, but because I'm getting older now, okay. I think that dream is. But oh. my, my daughter's middle name is Eliza, so that's as close. Oh, wow. But I. Okay. Um, there's no dog going to yeah. see us. Hello. Hello. It's like being on camera. If you can't play Eliza Doolittle. Oh, yes. Um, Abigail's party. Oh. Um, so I'm going Alison to be Sedman's playing. Character. Yeah, I'm going to be playing that. Um, that in, is a great. In role. August, I've just started to learn. Oh, you're actually doing it. Yeah, as well. I'm doing it. Yeah, and it's great because I'm doing it with some of my best mates. It's really good. Stu Lang, he's an amazing actor. Ryan Early, incredible actor. Barbara oh. Del Terrio, um, Emma Noakes. It's we, yes. Yeah, it's Where's we, that going to be? On? It's going to be at this really well, not random. Well, yeah, kind of random place. It's called Frinton, and it's in Essex. In Essex. Okay. And the place set in Essex, and Frinton's like the oldest rep company in England. It's been going for 80 years. It's their 80, 80th anniversary, um, and it's the part I always, always wanted to play. Oh, that is a fantastic part. So when they said about it, I was like, yes, yeah. I definitely, definitely want to do that. So that 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 is the part that I oh. that I've had my eye on that's happened. That's great. Yeah. What a great story. <laughs> oh, nice. That's made me feel really happy. One thing that really interests me about acting is the auditions. Obviously there's been some not so nice stories come out about auditions over more recent years. Yeah. But uh, what, what actually are auditions like and have they, have they changed since sort of post pandemic? Post pandemic and post Me Too as well. Okay. Oh good, I'm glad. I'm very glad. <laughs> Thank the God. One. I know, yeah. they really have changed lots. Um, I say the thing is that, that now you have to record them yourselves. You yeah. have you have to ask your non actor <laughs> husband. Um and that obviously having the kids around as well, that can be tricky some oh okay, so the other day I had to do had to do one and it's been my birthday and so, and so I was just trying to get this self tape done last minute before I went went somewhere with, with my mates for, for the weekend. Mm -hmm. And um I wanted to have really good light for it because I was saying make sure you've got really good light and it's natural and blah blah and so Louis, Louis was like sat there and I'm doing this scene and I'm you know, really so Louis's about five yeah he's yep. five and I'm crying and I'm like don't just 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 one sec just please let me just do this for one sec and I'm <laughs> doing it and then he just comes over sits next to me and he says are you okay? And then he's drawn me a pic, really nice picture. I was saying, he says, Mummy, and it's ears instead of is. Mummy yeah. is the best. And he just Aww. gave me this picture because he thought ears I was. Ears instead of ears. Yeah. And I just thought, do you know what? Even if I don't get this part. Well, he believed it. <laughs> he believed it. Yeah. He's completely, <laughs> completely bought the whole thing. Yeah. And I got it on film now. And it was just, he was just so. Aww sweet and it was really lovely. Kelly, it's time for your second compliment now. Bring it on. First one went all right. It's yeah. very nice, Not thank you. Not too embarrassing. Um, now, I was born in the mid 70s and I grew up in the 80s and I had a number of um, very innocent childhood crushes. Okay. Floella Benjamin, Sarah Green, mm -hmm. Chitara off of Thundercats. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> and like, m like pretty much everybody I knew, Charlene off of Neighbours. Oh yeah. Who, who turned turned into Kylie Minogue, of course. Yeah. And one of the things I loved about Kylie was, or Charlene, was the bubble perm. Oh. Is it a bubble perm? Is that what it's called? <laughs> Very, just very, a perm. Very, I didn't know it was a bubble. Very, perm. very curly hair. He had a corkscrew. Corkscrew, perm. yeah. Um, so my compliment is that you've got you, great curly hair. That you <laughs> absolutely, in 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 the long run, you absolutely rock that perm. Well, thank you. Do you know what? When we were doing the second series, I made a um, visuals board. Okay. Of literally Kylie Minogue. Oh wow! As Charlene, yeah. Well, there you go. And I and I took it to um, to hair and makeup, and I said, what, what 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 do you think about this? And they revealed their. And it was, <laughs> and it was exactly the same. the same. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> so yeah, that's funny that you should say that. Kelly, you recently were in Death in Paradise, BBC detective drama, filmed in Guadeloupe. <laughs> now. What? 
question, my question in lockdown, my question isn't anything to do about the show. It's just, is that the best gig in television? Yes. And I really, really want to go back again because I wasn't killed and I was a drug dealer and... Yeah, recurring role, definitely. Come on. So how good was it? You get, you, get, you fly out to Guadeloupe. Had to quarantine. Yeah. Amazing. But, but the beach. Yeah. Really hot. It was really good and lovely people, lovely crew and it's... Now the bit... crew loving it, the crew sort of going... Of course. Well, what a shame I've got to work on a Caribbean island. Of course. Yeah. By the time I got there, because I was the last one, the last ones to be shot, the last episode, it was a bit like Love Island by the time I got there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was all coming yeah. into it like, oh. <laughs> uh. Right. Oh, that sounds brilliant. It was really get, good. Need to get on one of those shows. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how. I'm not an actor. <laughs> I would like to ask you about the play, very successful play, One Man, Two Governors, which you were in. Yep. You were in it both in the West End and then you went on an international tour. So what can you tell us about One Man, Two Governors and, and you know, being in that long running production, what's that like? Hmm. So it was a, it was a comedy, mm -hmm. so it was fun. Yep. It was very silly. Yep. That was what was really good about it. Mm -hmm. What is that like when you're traveling around the world as a big sort of troop like that. You must you must all get quite close, I guess. And close, and then also you get annoyed, annoyed with each other <laughs> as well. <laughs> Actually, there was this one time we were in Adelaide and I'm really scared of spiders. Mm. And they said, oh, you won't, you, there'll be no spiders. Basically, when I, when I, when I got offered the job yeah. and, and they say you're going to Australia. <laughs> you went, hang on a minute. Gotta make sure there aren't gonna be any spiders there. Yeah. As long as I know there won't be any big spiders there. But to be fair, that's why I won't go to <laughs> yeah. So it's like, okay, fine, fine, fine. And then I went to a bar in Adelaide and I always check underneath for chewing gum at places. Okay. I don't know why I do that. Because you like the feel. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I always check underneath. <laughs> and I put my hand underneath and this spider went <laughs> like like that. Oh god. Anyway. <laughs> there is spiders around there, they lie to me. Um, but apart yeah, from that... You probably should have seen through that lie, because I think most people know there's quite a lot of spiders in there Australia. <laughs> We've come to the end of the five, three, one. Uh, and that means it's time for your final compliment. And we've had a bit of fun with compliments so far, about marathons and perms. And this one is quite a serious one, actually, genuinely. I'd just like to compliment you on a fabulous career because acting, you know, you sort of say, oh, acting is really good fun, blah, blah, blah. It must be one of the hardest careers to succeed in and have longevity in and keep working in. Because it is, I mean, unbelievably competitive. Savage. Savage, yeah. And even more difficult, I hope I'm not out of line saying this, it's more difficult coming from a working class background, is much less opportunities for actors I think from working class backgrounds, yeah. is that accurate? No I'd say it was, well it depends isn't it, it's that some people have had amazing careers haven't yeah. they, like I was talking about Stephen Graham, yeah. and, but, but it is harder, it's still, it's, it's yeah. an extra hurdle let's say. I I, I think so, but yeah. that, that, that's my experience yeah. of it, yeah. So I, that, that's genuinely it, so I, I think you know it's incredible that you're You've had this great career, and I'm sure it's going to last a lot longer. I hope it is. Oh, stop it! You make me cry. Yeah. Don't. No. Now, <laughs> it's been wonderful having you on. So, um, and I haven't done this to anyone else before, but to say thank you, I've bought you a present. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to get it. Am I going to be insulted by this? No, it's a nice, it's a nice present. I just, I just got you a nice bag of M&Ms to say thanks for coming on the show. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. Do you want one? I'm touched. Yeah. Uh, and, and also, I was just wondering whether, whether you could see if Idris Elba would come with you. Do you think you'd be up for it? Do you know, nearly every week somebody says to me, <laughs> seriously. You'd be up for this. Can you give this script to Idris? Can you ask Bill to do this? Yeah. And now you're doing this. Yeah, yeah. I, I, wanted to ask. Anyway, um, 
So we've done the five and the three, so it's time for the one. It's the stroll now. So we, so it's all right if we just kind of walk over there towards, just over the hill a bit, and I'll do something nice. You can eat your M and M's. You, sir. <laughs> Thank you.